So it's a new year and it's been about six months since I last did a video on how to convert a Blu-ray or DVD into an MKV. Hopefully this time I'm going to make it a bit easier, a bit quicker. So let's dive right in. First thing we need to do is download Make MKV. So go on to Google and, and search for Make MKV. It's usually the top link, but just check the website is makemkv.com. Click it. Look for the green button. Download this. All right, let's go open this. We'll leave leave this website open for now. We're going to need it later, but I'll explain it in a little bit. Okay, let's click next. Yep, yep, yep. Install. Okay, let's run that. There we go. So if we look now and we go on register, we don't have a key. Now, the software is free on the forum, on the website. If you go on news, it says it's three while in beta. Here's a key. Now, you can use the key, but we're going to skip this step because we're going to use another piece of software to keep it updated and keep that key in. So let's close this. Go back on Google. And now we're going to put make MKV e update GitHub. I will leave links to obviously make MKV and this in the description. So it's usually the top one, but just in case, just double check. All right now, what we're going to do is get the latest release. Look for the EA EXE. Download that. Right now, let's run this. It'll quickly flash. This will open. Now, if we look, we have a key. If we look on the website, the key is the same. So when the key changes, and it does every month, as you can see, this is only good till January. You can run your update. It'll quickly change the key. You're good to go again. OK, let's move on to the more important thing, the actual rip in. First thing we're going to do is open preferences. Now. Let's go make a folder somewhere. I'm going to put it somewhere easy like my desktop. Let's call it make MKV. This is going to be the folder where we're going to store the file. So we're going to go on here, go to semi auto. Click browse. Find your folder. That would be the one. Don't know why I had to there, but that should be fine. Click apply. What this does is obviously it'll make the folder, but then we'll get a new folder with the file or film we're ripping. So apply and OK. Right now, let's pop our disk in. As you can see, it'll start spinning up. Give it a few seconds. Once it's loaded, you'll get a nice little button you can click. Let's click that, let the disk load up. This can take a, maybe a minute or so. It usually doesn't take long, but depends. Usually it only takes a few seconds. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's just make this a little bigger, make our lives easier. What we're doing here is we're looking for the biggest file essentially. As you can see, it's going to make that folder for us we told it to. But either way, we're essentially looking for the biggest file, which will usually be the film. As you can see, we've got a nice 24 gig here. Now, you can select all of these and you'll get all the bonus blah 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 and you'll get a load of other MKVs, but we're only interested in the main film here. So if you right click, go to unselect all, and then again, we only want the big file. And then all we have to do now is click this button. Yep, it says the folder isn't made. We've only made the first one, not the kick-ass one. Click yes. And surely, slowly, it should start making the file. 
as you can see let's just double check kick ass yep here we go now this part can take a while we could be here 40 minutes to an hour it depends on your drive it depends on the size of the actual disk you're using some some are 50 gigabytes maybe more so as you can see look mine's going to take about 35 minutes so what i would do is i'd wander off and come back in a little while i'm just going to stop this video here and then come back near the end so here we are 20 minutes later our file is nearly complete all we've got to do now is wait out the last couple of seconds and we'll be left with a nice mkv of a movie it will be a full quality it'll be a pretty big file but a few more seconds here we go and that is that so if we just check our folder there's our film 24 gigabytes I can close that now but that's pretty much it <clears throat> like I said if I was you I would keep this make mkv updater keep it in a safe place because as soon as your key runs out you can run that again and you're all loaded up and ready to go and that's it I hope you liked this video if you did give it a little like if you enjoyed the other videos maybe subscribe if not that's okay but either way i hope this video helped you out